I came across this interesting any to any multi model large language model called as Next GPT. So this is from the National University of Singapore. So they have this uh, page where they describe about this model. Okay, they also have a demo. So what is the idea over here? The idea here is that you can have any kind of input. The input could be a text, image, audio, or video, or combinations of these, right? And this is given to an LLM or a multi-model model, okay? To actually get outputs in text, image, audio, or video, okay? So this is some kind of universal multi-model understanding and any to any modality input and output. That's the idea over here. Quite an ambitious idea, I would say. Uh, and, uh, you know, they have some uh, good uh, examples over here of, you know, how the model outputs. Okay, let's just quickly look into one of them and then let's come to, you know, uh, come back to uh, the details on the model. Okay, so this is text input. Okay, and then you get into text plus image plus audio output. Okay, so here the user says that I recently started practicing mindfulness and meditation, but sometimes it is challenging. Can you help me with some techniques? Okay, then the uh, model gives a reply on what is mindfulness and meditation. Then the user asks, I would listen to a music for the meditation first. Then the model gives out music as output. Then based on this audio content, you want to visualize this ima it an image. Okay, so the input is audio now. Okay, plus the text. Right? And now you get the output as an image. Okay? And then you ask like, can you infer what is the time in the picture? Then it gives the output as, say it could be early morning or late afternoon. Okay? So this was an example of a text as an input and text plus uh, output as text image audio. Right? Here is another example of, you know, text plus image and the output is text image video. So you are giving an input as an image and saying that show me another image in similar contents the model replies back with an image. Then you are saying that, is there a suitable place to see this scene, right? Then it uh, tells about where you can see the scene, right? Near a riverside where you can see a cherry blossom. Then you can use sound to describe uh, the beautiful scene, right? It generates a sound. Then you can ask it to generate a video. It generates a video scene, right? So this is very interesting. Another example of an Iron Man over video over here. So is the guy in the video Iron Man. Okay, now the model says, yes, the video is Iron Man. So here the input is video plus text. And then you can generate images, text out of it as output. Okay, so this is quite interesting. So how are they achieving this particular model? Okay, so how are they really achieving it? Okay, so what they are doing is that if it is text, they are directly giving it to an LLM. If it is image, audio or video, they are using a image encoder, audio encoder or a video encoder to convert it into, you know, tokens, right? Uh, image input projection, audio input projection, video in to convert it into tokens, which can be understood by this LLM, right? Similarly, on the output side, the LLM can generate text or it can generate tokens which are then converted into, uh, you know, by decoders into the respective modalities, right? For image, it could be image diffusion, for audio diffusion, video diffusion, okay? That's the idea over here. A very clever idea, I would say, okay? Now, for the encoder side of things, they are using a model called image bind because this can produce, uh, it can take as input close to six modalities and produce this common. Uh, tokens which are then projected using linear layers over here okay now uh, the image bind is 1.2 billion parameters the linear projection uh, is 4 million parameters and for the llm they are making use of vicuna which is 7 billion parameters model okay they are using vicuna over here right and for the output projection layer they are using transformers model Okay, and here for the image, it's an image transformer for audio, audio transformer for video, video transformer, right? And for the diffusion uh, process, they're using stable diffusion for images, audio, LDM for audio and zero scope for producing video. Okay, so this is their architecture and system configuration. 
and what they're saying is that all these are pre-trained transformers right and only one percent parameters needs updating for achieving this multi-model understanding okay so there is this multi-model encoding stage there is llm understanding and reasoning stage and then you have your multi-model generation stage okay so in the multi-model encoding stage so they are leveraging existing well-established models to encode inputs of various modalities they take advantage of image bind which is a unified high performance encoder across six modalities then linear projection layer using the different input representation mapped into language like representations that are comprehensible to this llm which is vikuna okay so that is this part right then you have llm understanding and reasoning stage as llm is technically they employ vikuna which can understand input representations from different modalities and it carries out semantic uh, understanding and it can generate either a text uh, a response directly or signal tokens of each modality that serves as instruction to the decoding stage okay so for the decoder transformer based output projection layers map the signal token representation into the domains which can be understandable by the multi model you know your decoders right for that as i said they use stable diffusion for image synthesis audio ldm for audio and zero scope for video synthesis okay that is the idea over here right so they have explained how system inference is done for example if you give a text input that directly goes to llm llm generates based on the semantic understanding it generates whether it needs to be an image which needs to generated or and text and then it gives it to the approx appro uh, what you call appropriate decoders that is the idea over here so they have explained for the three situations of a video generation and image plus text generation video plus text right audio plus image plus text generation over here you can look over here okay so how do they align this particular thing right uh, so if you look at uh, two things which needs to happen is that encoder side llm centric multimodal alignment so we align different inputting multimodal features with the text feature space the representations that are understandable to the core llm okay so this is the encoder side of alignment so how do they do it so given an image uh, the image encoder converts it to image representation from that you get the input projection layer which gives it into the llm which generates the image caption you know the ground truth image caption so by error back propagation you can improve this image input projection layers to get a better representation of the images similarly for audio similarly for video okay the ground truth you have image caption audio caption video caption okay this is the encoding side llm agreement similarly you can do the decoder side also by having the ground truth okay so you can give the image caption to the text encoder you can give it to the diff image diffusion you can give it to the video encoder as well uh, so basically you are giving it to the text encoder and then that is given to the image projection layers audio pro output projection video output projection to train you are uh, this layer basically you are this layer right so using that alignment you can train end to end that is what they are saying over here uh, very interesting very interesting examples are also present over here uh, they also have created a benchmark data set right because uh, you need quality data set to train this end to end so they have created it called as mos it uh, high quality data set okay for these kind of tasks right so that is also interesting over here uh they also have a demo right so uh this is modality switching instruction tuning data set okay uh and they have a paper released as well right uh, where they explain more about these models we wanted to try out the demo they have a disclaimer over here that this is initial version limited by quality of fine tuning data so the responses could be hallucinated or low quality okay so what i did was i just uploaded this picture okay it says the image shows a group of men including former president george w bush pure hallucination so i say no you are wrong these people are ceos then it says i apologize yes they are ceos from various companies they are wearing suits and ties they are posing for a group photo possibly ceos smiling shaking hands they are smiling but not shaking hands okay so i then ask who is satya nadella and is he present in the picture it says satya nadella is the ceo of microsoft he is not present in the picture but his presence is mentioned in the image okay 
actually is present in this image. So previously when I tried this image with Idefix, which is a multi-model model, I got better outputs. Okay, so probably uh, the amount of training data required uh, to improve this model is huge, right? With the initial data, they have some selected examples over here on which they have got very good output. Your, how it works for your task is completely dependent on, you know, whether that data was present in training or there is enough training data for the, those kind of images. Okay. I tried, I tried with another image over here where I said, explain this meme and uh, the response was not good. Okay. So maybe it works out in certain cases. It doesn't work out in certain cases. You need to try it out, but the concept is very interesting. Uh, and I think the accuracy of these models will depend on the quality of the data set, right? How much, how large a data set you can give across all these modalities with their ground truths, right? Um, so that you can fine tune this model end to end, uh, the quality depends on that. Okay. So there's an interesting architecture. I'll be putting the link to this page as well as the paper, uh, as well as the demo page. You can go and check it out. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.